back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The Mother Crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Ironblood made their move. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred. And they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship, meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island, and with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. But... Thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. with your past. You weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the Crystalline Orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need 
to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. Useful trick. Freezing and thawing the spray to make mist. How did you learn to use your powers like this? The Masters made me do it. When the Crusaders took to the seas. To keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, you're not. This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. She is. The Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath. Strong currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency, allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. I always imagined when I came here it would be to reclaim it. It used to belong to Rosaria, didn't it? Once, though it's been in the Ironblood's clutches for far too long. As was I. For 13 years, this rock was my home. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. <sighs> It was never as bad as it before. And the only way past them is through them. Was that an earthquake? 
They happen all the time. That wasn't even a bad one. It's nothing to worry about. Look at this place. What a mess. Wait. Yeah. 
press on? Yes. Inside the volcano. You get used to the heat, though I don't remember it being quite this hot. Was that one cause for concern? It was. And they're getting bigger. Something's wrong. Get him! Let's 
not do that again. No. Let's not.
farewell. our friend made. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. Then we make for the sanctuary. I need to finish this. Before the heat finishes me. Here, here. We'll enter the Comric by the Handmaiden's living quarters. It was always a hive of activity. Sounds like we'll have a hard time staying out of sight. We won't have to. There's someone there I should very much like to see. Lady Morley, it's me, Python Bertha, Jill, it can't be, it is my lady, we cannot talk here, come with me. I'm so glad you're safe. And I you. Why ever would you risk coming back? Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But... I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me, where is the Patriarch? At this hour, he'll be in the Comric, giving thanks. You mean... Oh, fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Now! Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things, and go. Now listen here, Jill. In Alak, no! We have company. <gasps> It leads straight to the Comric. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me.
I'll live if you promise to do the same. Come on, Clive. We're nearly at the Comrec. All right. How many of them are there? There's something I need you to know. I saw the Patriarch do things no one should have to see. And so I swore that he would die by my hand. I understand. I faced my demons. Then you must face yours. We're nearly there. 
Just one last push. <sighs> I got it. Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? souls were sullied with the stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid, just as the Holy Mother wills it! Repent, abomination! For a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymrich is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster, and my soul is stained black. Though not by ether, but by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more, nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me! Kill them. <laughs> <laughs>
never do it! Take long.
Jill! I'm going to finish this, Clive. you do to it? Oh. We destroyed it. What? What? Monster. Monster! Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, father. I have killed <laughs> the monster! and become an outlaw. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. It's over. It is. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. Now you keep yours. Uh, 
This way, Your Grace. I thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please, save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. For a moment there, I felt my brother's presence. You did. I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. But why now, after five years of silence? I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your Grace. No, do not dirty your hands. Look at them all, like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps, the crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary, while others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek in the Dominion, Your Grace. Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sandbrek included. If his highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals and yet how spoiled, like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Darmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota.
army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on Lane Night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. We all here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. Uh, uh, if our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. Is that the Emperor's? What is the meaning of this, Lord Kupka? What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son. Not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbrek in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts 
will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? Our man in Dalino mentioned that Cook is gone. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Where are you? In here. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang, Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith, trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid. 
But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kunka must die. I have lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's note. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, You'll want to talk to her. Understood. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge... Uh can't hurt we are going to rosalith to deal with kuka what's the situation there <laughs> whoa there lord rossfield i'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost but to fully understand the present situation one must first understand how it came to be Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? 
Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. Fortify the castle gates, at once. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. A nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going.
an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. Why do this? Clive, we can get through here. Gentlemen!
Let her loose! They have a curl.
Jill! We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard! <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. <laughs> Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. <laughs> to the festival. Just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. Prisoner! <laughs> yes, no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <gasps> Gav! Shh! Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <laughs> We have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kuka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Ah. Nearly forgot. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. I have to get to the courtyard.
Don't you let her die. You've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. Tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. <laughs> What the fuck is your job, Juicy? Later. Oh. Everyone, with me. Getting the usual thing.
It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Kupka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. You... you killed her. I did. I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream! 
I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust.
slow.
There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! Another time, Mythos. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. <sighs> You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So what? You think they came here to save him? I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. After what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. It'll give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how are you feeling? Ready to go home? Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's, back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes.
the Norsemen. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. Is now a good time? Yeah. It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Ah, oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... Storm, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. <laughs> <laughs> 